Hello. I am Tiffany Smith and I wanted to come on today and just talk to you a little bit about um, the excuse or thought of um, I do not have enough time to do this as a business. Um, so just a little bit about me and why I may have something to say about this. Um, I um, have been in Young Living for four years now. I started this business with six children. Um, I had a one-year-old, a two-year-old, a three-year-old at the time, and then a, ooh, what would that be? Five, seven, 11, something like that, 12. Anyway, um, a bunch of kids. I homeschooled, and I'm an RN, and I was working part-time. Um, three of my kids have chronic illnesses, so I was busy, busy with therapy appointments and, um, you know, doctor's appointments. My schedule, like, I, I mean, people looked at my schedule and said, how, how did you do this? Like, how could you even do the schedule before Young Living? Um, so then we got oils into our home and I loved them and I wanted to share them with people um, because they worked. They changed our life instantly. And um, so I just kind of started doing that naturally. But then um, I had that excuse in my head. I was like, I don't have time to like really dive in and do this. I don't have time. Um, but something flipped in my head and I thought, you know what? I don't have time not to do this. Because, see, I was working in a job I loved. I got to help people, and I loved doing it. But I was just exchanging time for money. So to create more time, I had to give up one or the other. So if I wanted more money, I had to give up time. If I wanted more time, I had to give up money. Um, and so I was in a cycle that was really never going to end. And so when I talked to my husband about really diving in and doing this or learning about it even um I just sat down and looked at my schedule because I thought um I I don't I didn't think I had enough time and so I wanted to see what I could do but I did guys I had enough time and what I did was I sat down and I gave up some things that the truth is people just don't want to give up I gave up binge watching Gilmore Girls I gave up Netflix I gave up watching movies late at night um I gave up some things that were good in order to get some things that were better. So I gave up a, a book club that I was in that I love. It was one of my favorite things to do with my friends, um, but it was something I could give up. Um, so I really sat down and looked at the time I was spending doing things that weren't making a change or a difference in my life or the lives of others um, and decided I would give those up for two years and spend those 10 hours a week um, pouring into Young Living as a business in order to get what um, I wanted, which was a change, um, which was a residual income that was not exchanging time for money. And so, so what my biggest excuse was, which was I had no time to do this, was actually ended up being my biggest motivator which was if I have no margin in my life and no time, then I have got to create a change in that. And, you know, I, I'm here to tell you that about um, five or six months ago, I quit um, my, uh, my job as an RN, which I loved, but I love helping people with natural health and wellness better. Um, I have more time now. <laughs> um, than you can imagine. I still work hard at Young Living, um, but I work, you know, about 10 or 15 hours a week and get paid way more than I was getting paid. Still get to help people, but really help people from um, a root issue level. And I'm able to have time. Like, I have extra time. Um, you know, just personally in our life, that has been a huge blessing this past year. My parents have um, had some health issues and because I was able to quit that job and because I had exchanged those things, book club, Netflix, binge watching movies, and I exchanged those things in order um, to get margin later, I've been able to do things this year to help my family in ways that I never would have been able to. Such like, I'm gonna, it's such a huge blessing that I was been able to do that.
this last year for my family. Such a huge blessing. So I just want to tell you that if you're sitting there saying, I just don't have time for that. I want to tell you one, you do have the time. We all have the same amount of time in the day. It's just what we do with it. And so I want you to look at ways that you can do this. I learned this business watching YouTube videos in the bathtub. Um, I did this video right here on purpose because I am at a kid's chess tournament and he just went in to play a game and I had an hour so I thought what am I gonna do I went and grabbed lunch I just did a video for my team on my page and I'm shooting this video right now so you have time and that's the beauty of young living is you can just fit it in so I've also just my car is my university I listen to books on tape I listen to 12 days of diamond um, I listen to videos and um, books by Eric Worre and stuff on Audible in my car. So I'm learning while I'm already driving kids around. Anyway, um, I'll even put in headphones when I'm grocery shopping um, or, you know, at Costco or Sam's, I'll put in um, headphones and listen to something. So I just created this space in what would otherwise be dead time to create that learning atmosphere for me. And then I was able to just do you know, a class a week, um, and just share online. So sometimes, you know, it just looks like, Hey, I just oiled the kids up with, you know, something and we're in here. And so I just take a picture and, um, post it and share with others, um, how I learned. So it's, really easy actually to fit in um, to your day but I do think that it helps to look at your schedule and say what am I willing to give up because you can't sit there and tell me that you don't have 10 hours a week that you're scrolling Facebook that you're scrolling Instagram that you're what binge watching Netflix you know um, doing something that is not changing your life. And so I would just ask you, are you willing to give those things up for two to four years to create an entire different environment of time for you and your family? Bless you.